If your master cylinder does not pump up from the gravity bleed, sometimes it'll actually grab. Sometimes the master cylinder will still be empty. With the lid still off the master cylinder, what you want to do is you want to pull the brake and see how I'm getting those bubbles. So basically I've got hardly any brake handle at all. So my brake handle is all the way back in. You don't want to do that rapidly. Do it slowly and let go slowly. And you can actually see the piston going back and forth in there. Basically the hole in the back is the intake and the hole in the front side, the way I've got the camera here, is where the air is going to come back through. So that's sucking in the fluid here and it's pushing it down the line. Air is going to be lighter so the air is going to kind of find its way up the brake line or it's going to get trapped somewhere down in the bottom. So by having no handle at all, as you can see when I push, the air that's coming back up the line is actually coming back out through that hole now. So again, slowly, not rapidly. It's not like a car where you just pump it 500 times and then crack the line open. We're going to do this slow until basically we've got no bubbles coming out of there. And then one last time we'll break the, ble break the bleed line, bleed the brake lines. So I'm starting to get a nice good grip on here. I've got a pretty firm handle, but it's still not the way it should be. Again, another bubble out of it. So I'm still getting air out of here. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until basically I'm not seeing any air bubbles. Now I've got a brake handle now, so technically you could bleed them out of the bottom, but personally it's easier to get all this out of this top line for me and then bleed the bottom. Cause most likely what will happen is everything from the new um, splitter down there is gonna settle overnight and it's gonna come up this way. So if you let it set for a night or a day, uh, put your lid on, of course, so you don't get stuff in your master cylinder, but sometimes you've got an extra line out of there. But no matter what, you're going to probably have to bleed the bottom out. I would never put it back together without bleeding the bottoms. And again, just keep doing this until basically like that is fluid. So you can tell that's fluid pushing up through there, not air bubbles. So I'm going to squeeze it one more time. Again, let go, squeeze it again, and I'm just getting fluid pushing through now. So I've got all the line, or <coughs> sorry, I've got all the fluid into the master cylinder I'm going to get in there. So you can either gravity bleed the brakes again, or you can actually pressure bleed them. In this case, since I've done a new master cylinder, I've got a new splitter, a new caliper. There's a lot of places to get air bubbles in them, so I'm actually going to pressure bleed it 